team is Tierra B Naturally, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you my best protective style for natural hair growth and length retention. So let's jump right into it. As you can see, I have this beautiful hair here, and if you didn't know, now you know it is a wig, you guys. This is a wig from Amazon. I will link it below in case you want to get into it. I did a review on this like a couple of years back, and this thing is still rocking with me solid, and I think it was like under $30. Anywho, this is a realistic looking wig, um, but if you look a little closer, it still even looks like mine. I just put my own little natural baby hair out, but that's just like the icing on the cake because the hairstyle underneath is what's really going to help you to retain your length um, over this course of 2024 or whenever you're watching this video so let's get into it so i'm going to take this off just like that mm -hmm. and i'm going to show you guys i just installed this set of cornrows just yesterday and this is what they look like. So I've got four this time. Last time I did six and that was okay. But I said, let me just try to do four this time so it could be more simple um, to take down. And yeah, so this is what they look like. And the tips I'm going to give you is going to be three tips. So one tip is at least four because I tried two and it just got a little bunched up kind of at the top. And it just doesn't really last for like a little bit of a longer term. I'm trying to do two week protective styles throughout the year of 2024. Um, the Curly Doc and I and many of her subscribers are doing the two week rule. If you haven't seen that, I will link that video below. But yeah, so here we are. This will last comfortably for the two weeks for you. Um, during my two weeks, I will not be adding water. I will not be adding too much products to my scalp. Every so often, if my scalp does get a little bit itchy here and there, I will put just a little bit of jojoba oil on my scalp because it's a very light oil. But for the most part, I'm trying to allow my natural sebum that comes out of my head to aid in my hair growth. Um, so this is an interesting journey because I used to be a squeeze oil down your parts kind of girl. Anywho, so the second tip is to do them nice and firm but loose. So as you can see, these are still very squishy and they are down to my head they are but they're still nice and fluffy flexible this will allow my hair room to comfortably grow it's not pulling tight on my edges they are free to come out or i could push them back but yeah so do it nice and comfortably and then the back i just have it wrapped up in a little ball and my ends here are tucked away for the most part um, every couple of days or so you can put on your ends now I would recommend putting some of this this is the Sunny Isles Rosemary Jamaican black castor oil this is perfect for helping with your ends because not only are we growing the hair from our head we're trying to retain it on the ends that's usually the biggest problem that natural girls have is the retaining part okay last tip I'm going to give you guys regarding these is about how you go to bed with these so once you get done doing a re-moisture, if you're just going to add a little bit of jojoba oil to your scalp, you can also, for the hair itself, like the part that's out like this and the braid, you can, um, every few days, you could add a little bit of some kind of leave-in conditioner. This is the Ice Water Rapid Growth Leave-In Conditioner from Hair Growth Co., which I love this stuff. So I would basically put just a little bit on my hands to get down the braids themselves and in some of the hair. A little bit follow that up with a little bit of the jojoba oil rub that on your hands and you can kind of massage that on your parts if you just feel like your scalp is dry you need a little something but really you shouldn't need much on your scalp because God created our scalp really amazing so if you don't have any underlying conditions for the most part your scalp should be fine without anything on it and then you know of course you want to do your wash day routine for you, if you do weekly wash days, you can do the same thing. Just do it weekly. I do mine bi-weekly. So last thing is just how you maintain it. So with the moisture I showed you, what you want to do is you can go this route and just put this on. And you can throw on any wig of your choice. You can do what I just did. I like the natural hair wig because I got the braids and they're a little bit bigger. So they lay flat enough for that type of wig. Or um, if it's time to go to bed, I would suggest taking this off and switching to something like this for bedtime. This is a satin lined cap. I love burgundy, so mine's is burgundy. Uh, but I will put a link in the description for this as well. This is really a game changer because you can go to bed with it. Just like that. It's a silk lining. Also, if you need to make a real quick run to the store, you can do that. You can even pull it back 
lay some baby edges if you want and go about your business and it just serves as a multi-purpose for you you know you could be a cute little style even if your braids are still kind of fresh you can just let it kind of hang rock your style like that put you some uh baby hair some earrings or however you want to do it but yeah but that's pretty much all i do it to help me to retain my length and i'll show you guys an update um, last time I did my update at 10 days and I had amazing results and so I'll give you guys an update after about 10 days, 10 to 14 days before I take this out and show you guys how it turned out. But I know it's going to be amazing because this is like my go-to style for length retention. So stay tuned for an update. Let me know if you're going to try this out. Comment down below what's your go-to protective style to help you gain those inches and retain them because we all trying to just figure it out, okay? But thank you guys for watching. Listen, I'm Tierra B and I am out. Blessings!